sorry for my bad accent, I am French. And in, in France, we, we, we like to, to learn French, and that's all. That's cool. So I am an embedded Linux expert. I have been using Linux for a long time. I think I was one of the first users of Linux in France. It was only, it was, uh, we, we were a small group. It was uh, okay to, to, to reserve a restaurant for, for all the people working on Linux in France at this time. I'm not a flight software specialist, and so, nor space industry specialist, and so I got some, some slides from the people from the CNES in Toulouse, uh, which is a French uh, agency for space uh, developments. They are really very high level specialists on the subject, so I got um, slides with their authorization, of course. And I put my, um, the slides inside my presentation, and so I, I will talk about Yocto and using uh, Yocto for, with, for the applications and the future of, uh, of using Linux in uh, space applications. Uh, focusing on satellites, not on uh, rockets, and because they, they, they work on satellites. Uh, currently, I'm the CTO of uh, a, a service, a part of a service company, uh, which is called Smile. And uh, ECS is a small part, it's about 2,000 uh, uh, people, and we are about 150 people working on embedded. Embedded Linux, mostly embedded Linux, but sometimes on uh, microcontrollers and Android and uh, etc. Um, and I'm, I am a teacher at the university in Paris and Bordeaux uh, for um, embedded Linux, uh, Yocto, Linux uh, real time, uh, AOSP, uh, Android, and uh, developing uh, drivers, etc. Okay? So, you know, space is a very uh, hostile uh, environment uh, because it's, um, we, we, we need a very specific uh, system configuration uh, regarding the footprint and the radiation, of course. We, we, are, we have already several talks about it, and so I'm not a specialist. And the most important part is the certification. So there is, a, there is a, an organism on certification in Europe, which is ECSS. And uh, the organization delivers uh, certificates for, for, for the software, uh, flying software for satellites. Um, there are specific protocols and hardware. There was, but they're still there. For example, the Spark Leon CPU, uh, the Space Wayer, and they begin to use uh, standard uh, networks, but uh, with uh, some adaptations. Um, the space, uh, nevertheless, the space has been in a, in a space, the uh, software, sorry, has been in a space application for a long time. I think the first one was uh, RTOS um, 3860 for the Apollo Space Flight Control. And you have uh, the Apollo Guidance Computer um, for, the, for the lunar module, and now uh, it was designed for a very small. CPU compared with today, and so you can run the, the software in a JavaScript on a web page. Um, and so there are lots of, no, there are some, uh, some uh, specific uh, software and operating system for, for the space uh, uh, missions, uh, such as RTEMS, RTEMS, I say RTEMS, maybe I did not the, the, the good name, but uh, uh, RTEMS was designed for the missiles. Uh, for the for the Navy in the USA, and so it's uh, now it's open source. It's really under the LGPL, not the GPL. It's the LGPL, um, and it's still uh, very used in the in the space industry, even in Europe. But most of the time, they got they got a version of RTEMS, and they they change some, uh, they remove some parts of the software to get a certification. For. But uh, it's very famous. Uh, VX works, of course. If you take a look at the uh, recent uh, NASA mission, they use VxWorks for for the the, the, the robots on March. Uh, discovery, discovery. No, curi no curiosity, curiosity, curiosity runs. Mot they, they, they runs VxWorks and Artems. And Litos is an OS designed by a, a, a Sp Spanish company, very famous in the space industry in Europe. Uh, they, they are called Fentis. Uh, they are from the University of Valence, 
and um, they develop a very famous hypervisor, which is uh, certified by the ECSS, and so they, they are all, they develop also an operating system for the space, which is called Litos. And the virtualization is very important. I think it's the most important thing to to make it possible to use Linux in a, in a space environment. Uh, Xtratom was the name of the of the Fentis product, and now it's called XNJ because it's Xtratom new generation. Um, PyQOS by Cisco. Cisco is our now is, it was a German company. It is owned by Thales, the French uh, group Thales. And so Thales is uh, one of the main actor of uh, satellites and space uh, application in France and in Europe. And so they use uh, they use their product, which is PyQOS, which is quite close to 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 Xtratom and XNG. Um, but there are some uh, some uh, real projects. We we can talk about the CubeSat. I heard a lot of things about the CubeSat, but uh, there, there are the CubeSat, and then there are real projects. It's uh, quite different. I don't. I have nothing against the CubeSat, but it's a it's a different application. And so some uh, some real projects such as uh, SpaceX Falcon. Some years ago, they used Linux in a standard uh, standard way. There are three three uh, computers, x86-based cubeports with Red and NC. But it's not a satellite, you know, it's, uh, they, they, they start uh, the engine and some minutes after the, the, they must be on the, on the Earth. It's quite different. So there, there, there are lots of uh, missions based on Linux. Uh, some of them are my very funny because uh, I heard the, uh, a conference about it uh, at the first day. Uh, the phone sat, for example, the phone sat by the NASA based in a, on, a, on, a, on a phone with Android. It's a kind of Linux because Android uses a Linux kernel, but yeah, it's a quite funny, interesting. So you have lots, lots of examples. Some, it's an extract of a list. And uh, software in a spaceship is more and more uh, very important, like in as, in as a kind of industry. Uh, because it's an interface between the ground and the space system. Uh, you run a vital function with the software. Sometimes we have, real, we have real time, it's not, uh, sometimes it's not mandatory, but sometimes you need the real time. So uh, we must, if we consider Linux, we must consider uh, sometimes a, a, an extension to the, to the Linux kernel. And, um, and the management of uh, mission aspects uh, such as uh, instrument and CU control unit and TU, what we call TMTC tele telemetry and telecommand. So this is a, this is an example of uh, how the satellite system works. You have a, a ground station on the on the ground, which is a ground station, <laughs> and uh, there is a, a telecommand and telemetry connection for, from the satellite, and the satellite is divided in two parts. Uh, the system, the control system, which is uh, not used by, not driven by Linux, I think it could be a bit difficult. And uh, the, pay, the payload, what we call a payload, or the payloads, uh, which is an application. And we have a system based uh, about. So that, that I, ca I can present you some, oh, yes. It's Linux in the, in the display. So. No certification. <laughs> the first part, the first uh, approach is, uh, is to use bare metal with no OS for a very simple application. So it's okay with a low level of, of complexity, and it's okay for small uh, CUs and instruments. So you have the hardware with two applications, but uh, yes, it's an old-fashioned uh, approach. Um, the second way to to develop a software, a flight software architecture is uh, using an operating system on top of the hardware um, with uh, tax management. And uh, it's uh, again not possible to use Linux in this case because, because Linux won't be certified by the, by the ECSS. And the third one is uh, most interesting because it's a standard way to, to develop uh, flight software today. We have OS, of course, but we, have, we can have several OSs. Um, we have real, real mission working uh, for, with this architecture because uh, it was some test uh, of Linux before using Linux in uh, critical session, uh, missions. Um, 
And of course, there is no ECSS for certification if you use Linux. But the, the last one is the best one. Uh, we, have, uh, we have the hardware. We have the hypervisor on top of the hardware with the temporal and spatial segregation. Um, we use the qualified uh, hypervisor such as uh, XNG uh, with uh, several critical levels. And so Linux is usable if you put Linux in a, in a container, not a container like, like, uh, like uh, Docker or something, but a container of, uh, of the hypervisor. And the, the issue was to, to be able to make Linux communicate with, uh, with the hypervisor because, uh, because uh, Xtratum was not designed for that at the beginning. It was designed for to, to, to communicate with it, its own OS and so with RTMS, for example. So we had, uh, they had, and we had, but they had, they did the job because we don't know anything about XNG and it's not open source. It was, there is an open source version and it was open source at the beginning. Uh, when, it, when it was a project from the University uh, of Valence, but now uh, it's still, there is a version, open source version, but uh, yes, it's not really usable. Okay. Uh, so the, the, the typical uh, space architecture is the following with uh, Xtratum, the hardware, the hardware Xtratum and several uh, operating system in the containers and several applications, okay. So of course, uh, this slide is uh, is uh, bis repetita, that we say in French, in Latin, but in, in French we always say bis repetita. Um, of course, the benefits are the support for many architectures, the VSP is wide community. Uh, there are lots of communication protocols, but no protocol for no communication pr protocol for space currently. Uh, development tools, vendor independence, uh, optional real time. That's not so good, uh, so bad with uh, real time with pre and thirty. But there is another. Um, yes, I heard uh, lots of things about pre and thirty. But there is another framework, which is called Xenomai. I will talk about it this afternoon, uh, just after at at uh, five. And uh, it seems to be very not very famous in the in the Linux uh, community. Uh, but I will talk about it later. It's not a, it's not a link to this to this subject. And um, of course, the parts of the software can be debugged and developed in uh, in standard architecture x86 or small boards such as a Raspberry Pi. Or and so the, 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 the most important is a huge catalog of Linux software. So this is a bit repetitive. But uh, there are some uh, drawbacks. Uh, we need a MMU. We did a, we did a test some uh, in um, two years ago. We had the first project with the CNES, and one one of the work package was to identify the possibility of using uh, MMUless uh, um, systems with Linux CPU with Linux. And right now, it's quite not possible. Yes, it's still possible, but the, the, the MMUless support for the Linux kernel is a bit uh, old. Um, so you, you, you can't use 8-bit and 16-bit processors. You have a limited support for rad tolerant CPU. There are some BSP from, from, uh, for the um, SparkLeon. I think it's based on BuildRoot. It's not designed to be an RTOS and uh, it's nearly impossible to qualify it. With a and that there is a large footprint. Uh, you, you should know that um, in a space system, uh, quite everything is loaded in RAM. It's what we call a mini RAMFS in a, for Linux. It's not today. It's not possible to, to run the, the OS from a, from a EMMC or something like that. It's maybe in the future, but today it's loaded in RAM. It's loaded in RAM with the current operating system, but it's 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 the same with Linux. And the package dependencies uh, can be a, a drawback, not only for space. <laughs> so working with the CNES, it was very difficult to work with the CNES. We started the company. I started the company, uh, uh, which was called OpenWide at this time. I, I didn't choose the name because in English it's, it's a bit uh, tricky. Um, if you would take a look at the web at the internet, you will see some uh, horrible things. And so it was quite difficult to work because it's a, it's a national French agency, so it's an administrative, uh, uh, well, yes, it's a French administration. Wow. And so uh, I remember I, I, I did, uh, I did a, a study to, 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 
to see what it's possible on Linux, but not uh, not for the for the space flight. And uh, it took me about uh, three, three or four months to get the contract, and so only for three, three or four, four days. And after it was a silence. It's where we, they were lost in space, too. And uh, I don't know, but for uh, for um, because Linux. Uh, Came back to the to the um, on scene uh, with uh, with the missions. They called us uh, three years ago, and we started the first project to to use Yocto with uh, uh, French actors, French play players, Thales and Airbus. And we were subcontractor. We have to 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 develop. A, it was quite easy, but we have to develop a, a BSP, not to develop a BSP, to use a BSP for for the zinc. To test the pre-MTRT and to test Xenomite to know what is what is the best. I uh, <laughs> I knew the, the results, but uh, well, and create a Linux image in a dis demonstration. Okay, and this it was the first step, qu quite interesting. So we decided to not to use the pre-MTRT in case of real time. We decided not to use an MMUS uh, CPU. And the second project was the most interesting because we were not subcontractor. We was a major player with the CNES. And uh, the, the initial goal of the, of the, of the work was to, to, to take the results of the previous uh, study and to, to start an open source community around the project. Okay. Uh, yeah, I say okay, but uh, <laughs> we, you, know, you know Joe Jackson, the singer? No? But there is a, cit there is a quote of Joe Jackson, he say, he say, uh, doom in your in, uh, deep in your heart, we knew it was doomed to failure. But the question remains: Why, why did did we do that? It's, uh, it's about the third album of uh, of Joe Jackson. I'm I'm a fan of music. So <coughs> um, there was three uh, three uh, word package. The first one was uh, was a, a set of interviews for five players. Uh, French players, uh, friend, two big French players, two small French players, and a player from Spain. And uh, the interview was about the use of Linux in their projects, or some of them, uh, the big ones, they use Linux already, and Yocto, they have quite everything ready. So they don't care about the new distribution <laughs> and the new distro, but yeah. Uh, and then the all players that they, they never use Linux, they use the software from uh, from uh, from the CNES or from uh, from uh, Pentis or whatever. And uh, th th there was a second uh, second part, so it was a set of interview with lots of uh, questions. And the second part was um, was to define a strategy to maintain and make available a Linux distribution. So you 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 copy paste what we did before for other customers. But Yes, and the, the third uh, well package was to develop the Yocto itself, the Yocto, the Yocto distro itself, and uh, there was a, a big job uh, uh, around uh, interfacing it with uh, with the uh, hypervisor. It was it was already some some parts were already uh, done, but we 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 had uh, we had to work with the Fentis to do that for the communication be between the, the partitions. Uh, we worked on Zinc. Uh, th we plan to use RISC V, but it's not possible. And uh, we use the Raspberry Pi for for a demonstrator. So Yocto, uh, Yocto is uh, is not a distribution. You know what is Yocto. Uh, and the goal of the of the another goal of the of the project was to to be not to be dependable on, on the on the distro. Uh, develop provided by the BSP. So standard uh, distro is Pocky. Uh, for ex if you take the Zinx BSP, the, this is Pocky Beta Linux. If you take another board uh, from NXP, for example, it's another one. And so there are lots of dependencies, uh, lots of layers to add, and it was a, it was a bit complicated. So the goal was to redefine something quite simple because uh, the image must be simple. Don't forget, uh, it should run in RAM. And so we, we put it we think in, in place and it, so it was okay. Um, okay. Uh, so the Linux for space distro. So it was very funny because we, we choice, I, I think it was my, my choice. The Linux for space 
and I discovered uh, some, some uh, one or two months uh, uh, later that there was already a project Linux for Space in, here in Prague. And uh, it was uh, very funny because we, we didn't know each other. And we, sh we, we chose the same name, we had, but it was quite simple. But uh, uh, So the Peta Linux, uh, ta ta ta, distro, the Linux moments from BNN, the Linux so based on open so, copy. So we based, uh, we based the, the distro on Pocky, which uh, means we can use on it on any kind of hardware. So again, uh, again uh, about the space features, uh, everything is loaded in RAM. The RAM is uh, not very that big uh, compared with uh, what we have on, on the phone today or any kind of uh, elect electronic device. We need a hypervisor, we need partitions. So the Linux image will use in it RAMFS. It's a RAM disk loaded in uh, at the beginning of the boot. Uh, we have uh, SpaceWire is very, is very famous for the space uh, industry. It's a specific bus, uh, looks like similar to a, to a UR to something like that. It's quite old. But um, the problem is uh, most of the space wire is not like uh, an Ethernet board. Most of the space wire are, are designed as IP for FPGA. So everybody buys the IPGA, Thales, Airbus, etc. They develop a specific driver for the IPGA. And there is no, no framework for the, for the space wire in the Linux kernel, it's not can open. And that they, they don't want to give the source code, of course. I know we are, there is only one, uh, one uh, free FPGA for designed for, for space wire, which is designed in Toulouse again. We do lots of things in Toulouse, not only the rugby, <laughs> but we are champion now in rugby, <laughs> in France. I'm not from Toulouse. Huh? I'm from Bordeaux, and so I hate the people from Toulouse. <laughs> and and uh, it's the same. So we use, uh, for, as a demonstrator, we use the AirMap, uh, Spaceware AirMap library available on GitHub, designed by the people of a, a guy um, in Japan. I put the, the link. It was quite, uh, quite interesting, but it's based on TCP. So the project result, uh, is uh, we can we can run Linux uh, on top of XNG partition. The communication between partition is okay. We had the basic SPAS driver on the Zibo board, which is based on ZIC, uh, init RAM FS, Xilix independent distro, etc. Yes. Uh, the good the good result. The bad result, uh, maintaining a distro compli is complicated. And the, the people from the there are two categories of uh, companies. The big companies they know everything about Linux. And they know everything about Yocto, they have all, all everything uh, ready, so they don't care about your distro. And they don't want to, to give anything because that the developers are not against open source, but uh, the managers, maybe they, 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 they don't. They, they're okay to get open source, but it's a bit difficult to, to give back uh, some co source code. So the original goal was, uh, was not achieved because we wanted to, to, to build something around the community, uh, Yes. So we, we, we t it was uh, one year finished, one year ago. So we, I was back to, to the CNES, to get in, got in contact with the CNES, and uh, with the CNES it's not real time, the contact, you know. There is a high light lat latency. And there are another nice guy, and so they say we, we will uh, switch to another approach. Uh, uh, we will integrate in the Yocto layers what we did, uh, and they did lots of things in software in France. Then the first, uh, the first one is LVC UGN. It's a French name. Uh, it's a logiciel de vol, le vol uh, logiciel de vol pour la charge utile générique. It means generic fly software for the payload. Okay. It's uh, you can take a look on the internet. They, 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 they publish lots of paper for so it's, it's time and it's based on the time and space partitioning. Uh, the second one is APPDK, which is a kind of uh, of uh, structure to, to to install applications just like on a standard Linux, uh, generic application hosting tool. Um, so and the, the last uh, the last uh, thing was a possibility to to manage uh, software and compile software on board. So I was very surprised, but uh, yes, it's, it's quite possible now. 
the LVC gen is uh, origin is is IMA uh, integrator modular avionics developed by for the aeronautical uh, deployed by Airbus etc etc et so um, the last part is important because uh, uh, it should it should be called LVC gen because the CU is not uh, it's not only for the payload today. So this is a, this is the EMA. Actually, the EMA is a way to, instead of uh, using a, a, a computer for for a function, you share the the, the, the computer for the several functions. It's very famous. It's a space in the aeronautics industry. So yes, it was the origin of the thing. So it's a TSP solution. Um, it's a, it's a generic framework you can develop, uh, if you develop with LV, LVC Eugen, you have lots of uh, tools and, and libra libraries, etc. cetera. Um, and so it's, uh, it allows to, 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 uh, to have uh, lots of common codes between the mission instead, instead of rebuilding everything from, uh, from scratch. And uh, the LVC Eugen based architecture is the following. You have an hypervisor, of course. We have uh, the partition, for example, on this part uh, is based on Lytos, and on, on Lytos you have uh, APPDK inside the partition. And on this partition you can install the application just like with a, with a uh, package manager or something like that. It's not really a package manager, but it looks like. So uh, <coughs> we have the software components. Sorry, it's in French because it, it was from the, que the CNES again, yes, but. So the SOC, the generic CNES, is a generic software from the CNES. Uh, we have APPDK, we have some libs for, for, for the virtualization of everything. Um, we have the Linux part, uh, native or guest, and the applications. And so um, there is a, th there are some libs uh, here in the yellow. Uh, there are some libs for the abstraction, and for example, they, they sent me. It's very simple, but it's uh, an abstraction of the function one for Arrank and one for the POSIX Linux. So it's uh, it's quite simple, but yes, it works. So the, the first step is you, is to set up uh, to install to add the support uh, for Linux to the APPDK. It was not uh, possible right now. Uh, with the same level of functionality as uh, Litos, because Litos was, uh, was the most famu famous OS for, for the job. Um, so we can have uh, two APPDK instances, but one functional scope, uh, because uh, APT APPDK, so we, there, there is a small picture uh, don't be afraid. I don't understand everything. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's a, it's a, it's a APPDK for Litos with a structure block structure from the CNES. And those and so the, the, the goal is to add the is to add the Linux uh, the Linux application and the Linux application hosting feature. The application hosting feature including Linux. Okay. Tuk tuk. So the step two for the development of the application hosting tool, again, it's written in French. I'm uh, very lazy about uh, writing uh, graphical stuff. I don't like that. Um, so you have uh, application hosting hébergeur d'application uh, with IA, uh, Python, uh, network protocols, uh, image processing, etc., etc. So it's uh, standard. It provides a way to, to install codes on the software to use codes. Um, and there are two uh, factor use, use case. On the step three, it's not available right now, but uh, maybe we, we, we do that with the CNES. Um, the raw compilation of executables, because it's quite difficult to send a binary to a satellite. It's about three megabytes. They say it's about three megabytes. It's, uh, I think it's worth, uh, it's worth we, we, with Linux. Um, so now there is a way to to do on floor, on board flight system reconfiguration and compilation. That we will put GitLab on the satellite. Yes, uh, and con uh, put everything in a container with Docker, something like Docker. And so instead of sending a binary, you you get the source, and uh, the source uh, except for except for Android, the source are, are smaller than the binary. <coughs> and so it's uh, the source are a few kilobytes. 
Um, so it's a, it's a nice feature. And uh, additionally, th 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 there are plans to, do, to use the Linux IP stack for the TMTC for the communication from the, from the ground. And there's a, no, I, there was a mistake on, uh, on my slide because uh, there are two. So second, <laughs> the second uh, use case was to use TMTC. As I say to my, to my students, you, you must not modify the, the slide at the last time. That's what I did. So the first one is to, to recompile everything on, on board. And not of everything, but part of the software. And the second one is to use the Linux IP stack for, for TMTC. OK, if you have any question, maybe it's OK, because I, we have, I think we have 10 minutes left. If you have any question, not on the space industry, but uh, yes, if you can, you can, you can. I will say I don't know. So it was very a very interesting project. I didn't know a lot about space industry. I, I was I was a fan of uh, you know I I'm, I'm old enough to 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 have heard about the first uh, man on the on the on the earth in 1969. I was a, I was a young uh, young boy and I heard everything on the, on the radio. So space was a magic for my, for me. But I do prefer train. For, for, for the, I, I don't like plane, planes. <laughs> I don't like the airports, not the planes. Okay, any question? Oh, no uh, question. I have the microphone here. If you have questions, I'll pass the microphone to you. No question. So no question. So the next step will be uh, to get in contact with uh, with our colleagues from uh, from uh, Prague. I say Prague in French, so I don't know what's going on. And uh, to to be able to to do to have the same same direction with the CNES. And okay. Okay. So no question. No question. Thank you.